today we're working on a new project which it is this thing so behind that is just where we have to keep our ever increasing amount of bins seems like every few months they give us a new bin we have to hide so because that's disgusting having your bins on view Vicky, Missy's Aquarium Adventures, has bought this thing, which is a trough. And we're going to make a micro pond. So we've just done a leak test on it, and it leaks. <laughs> so the solution to that is some pond liner. So we'll now enjoy. I like this new way of filming where stuff. I just do the camera and everyone else does the work. Um, have you got any sellotape? We're going to use sellotape. Today we're doing planting! So we've got some pond liner, we've got some pond plants. What did you say those plants were called? Horsetails. Horsetail. Some horsetail there that the kids are just planting up. And that should, in time, create some kind of screen. And then hopefully when I get my big pond out the back, they can use there. So this gets loads and loads of sun, so it should be kept really warm. Not got any plans to actually keep any fish in there. Um, but it's something like 60 or 70 litres. So, well, maybe. Might get some guppies. Who knows? Well, there's the semi-finished product. Um, it's just been roughly cut. With the pond liner here, we need to think of something. So my wife wants to put like copper strips here that we can bend down and seal. And these, obviously not touching the water if possible, but I don't know. Maybe some other kind of edging or way to hide this rough stuff. So some tidying up to be done, but it's been it's ready. So that's the horse hair. This stuff's meant to grow like weeds, and the idea is that this will then pile up here and cause a bit of a screen, or at least a break up the lines of sight. And then we can have all our bins here instead of the kids' toys. So, there's been a bit of a miscommunication, shall we say. So I was thinking, under gravel filter, um, have all the, the plants in pots, which they are in pots. Uh, and then maybe a few guppies or something could swim around there. But maybe a miscommunication, or as my wife likes to call it, a me not listening. She's already gone ahead and put all the plants in pots, but also filled it, I don't know, about a third if not halfway up with the aquatic compost. So the under gravel filter is not going to happen. We've probably taken up most of the space that we can get any fish in. So it might just be a plant thing now. As you can see, we've already put some duckweed in, some Amazon frog bit. And um, these are just come out of my tank, so I don't know how well they'll do outside, but she likes the aesthetic. That looks pretty good. Oh, I've got a question for you. Maybe you can help me with. So this stuff's the stuff that we've used to fill this up. So aquatic compost. We've got two different kinds, but they're from the garden centre. Soil for ponds, as you can see it says there. What's the difference between this and the stuff you might use in an aquarium? So it says it's specifically formulated for uh, aquatic marginal pond and other water environment plants. So does that mean aquariums? Can I use that in an aquarium? What do you think? There's nothing on it that tells me specifically what the, the makeup is or the compound is that it's in there. It's just about how to plant plants in a pond. I don't know, because I think that whole bag was a fiver. 
Anyway, the real reason I wanted to show this off is because I had an idea how to filter this if we were going to have um, fish in here. I picked up one of these, it's a USB uh, powered air sponge, air stone. It's super quiet as well. Um, all this comes in the pack, so you get your air stone, your airline, your pump, and your USB leads, and a little carabiner clip to hang it on. I've been trying it out for a while, and it is super quiet. It's powerful enough as well that it, it dries quite a few bubbles. So I can think of loads of good uses for this, but this is what I was going to drive the under gravel filter with. But instead of that, I've managed to squeeze a sponge filter in there, so I'll take this air stone off and connect that up. Just happen to have this power lead here connected to an external plug, but it could be a battery, like a power pack, something like that. I want to do a test at some point to see how often it would need to be charged up. So that can be hidden away quite nicely there. that looks all right so I've just got a little sponge filter in the back there that's hidden quite well you can just about hear the bubbles breaking but nothing else and that's going to be just enough to keep the water moving a little bit it's breaking the surface tension it's going to stop it stagnating hopefully if I wanted to I could probably put another one down here connected to an adapter um, but I think that'll do for now and hopefully, it's this water, it's a bit murky, hopefully that'll clear it up a little bit. And then we'll see if we can sneak some fish in, but don't tell anyone. So there you go, see we've got our bins there, so the idea is that they'll go back there and be covered by the horse hair. Horse tails, even. It's our little front garden here, with a little bench and flowers and planting and stuff. So this is where all the kids play. All the kids of the street congregate around here and play. I think that looked pretty good. So none of this was my idea at all. This was completely my wife, so I think she's totally converted now to the idea of everything requires water. <laughs> so that's it on this glorious sunny day. I just wanted to show off that little micro pond, see if it inspired anyone to do something similar. I think it looks good, sounds good. Don't tell my wife, but it's a great idea. Anyway, I'll sign off now. As always, click that subscribe button if you haven't already, blah blah blah. See you next time.